Shadow. See here, white's gone over the line a bit, so let's tidy that up a bit. Now watch your, um, how you resolve your, your areas like that. I've mentioned this many times, just mention it yet again. So never, well very rarely would you really go like that. You really want to make sure, you know, what was happening. So going around behind. Notice how it gets further and further apart. See, it gets further and further apart. So you wouldn't want to do this. And you wouldn't want to sort of get thinner. You, you want to sort of have the, the distance increasing. Also avoid, this is just to sort of double check on your lines, avoid lots of lines converging at one point. So you have to stagger them. <coughs> stagger mm. like that. It just gets confused with <coughs> lots of things meeting at once. So here, for example, you know, you've got... Sort of stagger those lines so rather than meet like that. Mm. In terms of how white you go in the highlights, <coughs> the important thing is that the overall balance is, is right. Um, some of you can go for contrast, like here, these are more highlighted, that's more soft. Um, some colours go well with lots of highlighting, some don't. I mean, you've got to be careful with the red, it gets too pink otherwise. But some you can have an overall more lower degree of modelling, others everything's more worked up and highlighted. So there's no one sort of, um, only one way to uh, know when to stop highlighting, you've just got to look at the whole. If you do, some of you found that your highlights and your gums are just too white, so you can get around it just by if everything's just right, except for the highlights, just wash over each individual highlight. But if the whole lot's not quite right, you can wash over the whole lot, and the highlights will be pressed back into the background. If the highlights are too dark. I mean, if the shadows are too dark. Too dark. Can't do much really. mm -hmm. Any questions about that? No? Good. How do you find the lines should be? Um, <clears throat> well, it should be articulate, it should be clear what they're doing, but um, you, you want a bit of a softness um, to them. Um, I always like the idea of about, on the average, sort of 80% trans, well, 80 opacity on the line, so it's always showing a bit in the background. If they are more opaque, you, you, want, you don't want too big a jump up, so you don't want sort of 50% blue-black and then 100% black. Yeah, if they're really opaque, I would just sit on top. So, um, you know. so here, for example, it's quite strong, but then it gets softer at the end. So it's defined there, but it gets softer there. Um, yeah, it's quite strong, but then it's soft on the other side. It's blended on the other. So just, just think of unity. Everything's got to be in unity. Got to be a guiding. But you don't want any lines that just don't mean anything, you can't just sort of hang in the air. So everything in this one here you know, has, has a meaning. Um, that line is there, it folds back on itself. Then the crinkle stops, so there's no line there. That goes underneath that. These little ripples here, and they're sort of puckering around inside, everything is stretched around inside, so that's why they're going toward there. The shoulder's pushing things out here. But here, they're going round inside again, so they all come down like that. Gravity starts pulling it vertically, but then it's drawn over this way, so it starts to be pulled that way. Gravity is pulling down the middle, so these are all coming down evenly. But then because the garment's to the side, they begin to swirl around. So everything must relate to all the forces. Always think of the forces that are generating these forms. 
Sweet. You don't even want with, with, with Dravius, the lion hanging in mid-ear and not touching anything else. Now that should be something like, like that, and that's another lion, or that could be like that. You know, it has meaning, that, that, that has no meaning. <laughs>